to welcome you all on behalf of the Biomedical Engineers Association and others. In collaboration with Aspera, UN Labs Design Institute, today we have gathered to share and explore the world of UN's design. This workshop is an opportunity for all of us to learn from the experts and gain insights into the latest trends and techniques in UN's design. Right, so let's get started. So, in US, then we are going to 
what process this process may be called a design thinking. So <coughs> a design thinking is nothing but it's a international standard process followed by many industries, not only user experience design, even if you want you can implement in your design, in your domain itself. The first stage is going to be empathize. In this empathy stage, we are going to conduct the research in various format of research, quantitative and qualitative research, and uh, we are collecting information from the user. In the second stage is called define. In this stage, we are going to identify the problem and defining the problem for the users. Problems, not only problems, needs also we are going to define. Then the third stage, we are working on the ideas. We are generating ideas, working on the solution for the problems and the needs. Then the fourth stage, we are going to work on the prototype. So we are creating a wireframe design and everything. And finally, we are conducting the test with the users. Events activity will start now. Test for students. Podcast come for students. So this is the objective of the workshop today. So first, we are going to understand the users. Then we are going to work on product thinking activity. Then we will do the design thinking activity. So these are the small menu items. So first I will explain who is the user. So users are basically speaking, you people are using any mobile application. So you are a user for that application. For example, currently I am using this laptop, Windows laptop, I am the user for Windows. And I am currently using Google Chrome, I am the user for the Google Chrome. So in any technical environment, if you are working on any application, it's called you are the user for that application. So that is how we are treating it. Alright? So in a real world scenario, it's a totally different. There is a customer, consumer, something like that. But in a technical environment, this is used to call the user. So these are the user and we are the user. So user of what? We are the user of podcast. So product thinking framework. So this is one of the another one. This is one we start an activity. So product thinking or we don't consider anything as a mobile application or design perspective. We need to consider everything as a product. So in the product thinking, we are following simple 4W plus H formula is a universal formula. So what, why, how, where, right? Something like that. So we are going to work on what is the problem, who is the user for that, and how we are going to solve the problem, why we are going to solve the problem, what goal we are going to achieve on that. So that is a high level of product thinking. Now it's your turn to start working on podcast background. So you are going to split it into the small teams, around the five to seven people, take a sticky note, and we have to conduct the research, the history of podcast, and we need to do the market size and uh, what are the revenue and the list of podcast to providers. You do the research, take a sticky note, one one point and one one sticky, and you can stick it on the wall.